gentlemen, what I was thinking about, I noticed, Mike, you have a little, um, is that a paper clip you got in your hand? Um, it's a twisty thing. A twisty. He twisted after all. And yeah. Dennis, you're not, you were, you were playing with something earlier. What was that, a pen? <laughs> oh, playing with something. What was it, a pen or you had, you had, you had something? Let's I don't have know. a have a pencil. Well, anyway, sure it was a pencil. Sure it was sharp. Um, you didn't stab yourself, did you? What's interesting is uh, calculators and rubber bands are causing injuries at the workplace. Uh, calculators caused injuries in 37 office oh, staff that. last year. <laughs> Figures released by the Department of Trade and Industry show rubber bands hurt 402 people. Oh, my eye. Stop doing that, Mike. I, uh, I, I once, uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, I had a Rubber band injury. I, I I I got one stuck up my nose. You got what? A rubber band stuck up my nose. Mm. Somebody shot it and it went up my nose. <laughs> were you laying down, or were they just? Short? I was like looking up. This really? was in class. I was looking at the ceiling and somebody shot a rubber band. I I had to go to the doctors. Did you tell the uh, the teacher? Well, get the guy uh, in trouble. I didn't know who did. Come it. on, you know who well, did. Well, I was mostly a, a target of saliva balls. You know, <laughs> oh. you know. It says office files have caused 2,707 workers and staplers have harmed 113 people. Hole punches claimed 18 victims and correction fluid 91. How do you get hurt with correction fluid? White out. Smell those well, things. Yeah, that stuff. Kids things? used to sniff that stuff. And get high, and they get brain damage, and they go out and do something stupid. So that's probably what would happen. Yeah. yeah. Injuries vary from slip disc to coffee burns, <laughs> well, paper cuts to uh, serious trips and falls. Work-related illnesses and injuries cause the loss of 146 million working days across America. Is that something? Yeah. Who would think that you can get hurt? I, I think that'd be the best way to take off a of work. Ah, oh, I got a paper cut. <laughs> paper cut. It got infected. My hand fell off. I stapled my head. <laughs> uh, two weeks off. You get a little little too fun from your boss. <laughs> boss, um, sorry, I need two weeks off. I got a uh, staple in my head. <laughs> I'm going to sue the stapler company. I put a paper clip my nose together. You you know what I think you should do is um, you, could, yeah. you could super glue... Your hands to your desk. <laughs> then you got to stay at work. Then you, yeah. can't, you can't leave. Hey, that happened to me all the time, Larry. You know that. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> of course, I go into areas where they're, they're liable to, to use other weapons to help to hurt me at work. Right. Dennis, what Dennis <laughs> what does... Dennis is, a ice cream, Dennis is an ice cream salesman. He, he's the guy that rides up and down the street with a little bell. Ring, 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 ring. Like a greeny green. But... Uh, <laughs> A Florida couple who kept three cats in a freezer may not be committed, may have not committed an offense, an animal welfare officer claims. The, uh, the, the family probably was doing that of the Roy Rogers by freezing trigger. The couple in Somalia have been charged with child neglect and animal abuse. The 21 cats were found crawling around the house and have shared the house with their 14-year-old son. The, the assistant to the director of the, uh, the Pinellas County Animal Services say, said by uh, keeping animals in the freezer, there is nothing illegal about that. The fact of the matter is that's probably what old Roy Rogers has done with old Pell Trigger, though he probably didn't have the house or the horse in the house freezer. He probably had some other type of freezer he put the, the horse in. He probably rented some space somewhere. Some I don't know. Page anywhere like a storage area? Do they have freezers big enough to put a horse in? McDonald's does. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think they're using their hamburgers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, McDonald's. The boy, don't sue us. Don't sue us. <laughs> the boy right now is is uh, the boy right now is staying with grandparents, <laughs> while uh, the surviving cats have been taken to local authority, where I guess they'll be executed in seven days. I don't know. Dennis puts a 100-pound fish in his freezer. <laughs> yeah, Dennis has got 100 pounds of fish in his freezer. This guy's got cats in his freezer. Roy Rogers got a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what, what's, 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 I tell you, the end is near. An animal robbery suspect. You, how do you rob an animal? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you, you could just, rob a kangaroo. You could, uh, you could skin him and you steal his fur. 
An animal robbery suspect in Pennsylvania was arrested while he was visiting a friend in prison. <laughs> he stole his, uh, stole his was wife. He, was he a cat burglar? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> the the 21-year-old was visiting an 18-year-old inmate in New York County Prison. Police said that they were both suspects in the same animal robbery. According to the uh, Manchester Township detective, they're suspected of robbing, uh, robbing seven cats, two Fair, fair dogs. What is that? No, you know, uh, pedigree, pedigree dog. Pedigree dog. I feel like the dogs they bring into like the animal fair or something. Know, like the dog shows. They having a dog show at McCormick this weekend, by the way. Oh, okay. That's the show. That's the show. Yeah, That's the show. That was a dog show yesterday. I think yeah. I saw. Um, this guy was taken out and, and handcuffed, and uh, obviously <laughs> shares a cell next to his friend, where they could, <laughs> they could rob all the animals they want in the county jail. And speaking of robbery... Oh, they could steal his roaches and rats, right? <laughs> a burglar in Sweden's le left empty... Uh, a Sweden in... Okay, a burglar in, in Sweden left empty-handed after apologizing to his victim. That's kind of nice. Okay. A little politically correctness to the uh, people who are robbing. The Stockholm housekeeper told police the burglar overpaid and overpowered him and <laughs> demanded cash. When uh, he told that there was money in the house, the burglar said, Sorry. Pretty inconvenience. I'll talk to you later. I'm going to check your neighbor. I'm going to rob your neighbor. <laughs> Not for them to let you know politely before they do something to you. Well, I think that's the least they can do. You know, apologize for what they've done, you know, for inconvenience. Sorry those for those, staking those your money. dangerous people smart, uh, the people who grin at you before they do something bad to you. Why is that? <laughs> so they disarm you so you don't know that they're doing something bad to you. Hello. I'm smiling at you. Don't mind me. I'm just stealing your wallet. Okay. That's not bad. It's good. It works best with a good-looking woman. Does it bother you that I'm grinning at you now? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know you're you just stole his pocket. Yeah. <laughs>